Hi, my name is John Cavallone, and I am doing a series on showing you how to research your family ancestors that come, had come from Sassano, Italy. This is Introduction to the Sassano Project. In the fall of 2018, I have come across uh, a friend of mine, Peter Varvella, who was already working on the Sassano Project. He, as well as Pasquale Sorello and myself, were indexing the civil records and the church records of Sassano going back to the 1600s. And we recently completed the indexing. And I wanted to show anyone who's interested, anyone who has uh, Sassano ancestors, uh, a great way to research your genealogy. If you go to the Sassano Project, and the probably the easiest way to get to the Sassano Project is going by my website, which you can get to by typing in www.sassanochicago.org. And if you go up to the Resources tab, the very first selection is the Sassano Project. You click on that, and it will bring you to Peter's Sassano Project page. And if you scroll down to page 6, you will find a table of links that will uh, give bring you to the indexes of the civil birth records, civil marriage records, civil death records, and then on the bottom half, the baptismal marriage and death records going back to the 1600s. We're going to start out with going to the civil death records of the 1800s as an example. And as you can see, uh, they're all indexed with the uh, individual's name and the parents and if there was a spouse. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the page, you'll see all the different years that uh, were indexed. And we're going to focus on 1866. So if you look at the right side, you'll see uh, some numbers. Those are the page numbers. If you go to familysearch.org, where these records are stored, And FamilySearch.org, uh, if you've never been there before, you'll have to register free. It's a, it's a free website. You'll go to Search, Catalog, and then type in Sasano. Do your search. And click on the 1866 to 1910. Scroll down a little bit, and uh, there's there's three separate areas, uh, and the films are are combined. As you'll see with the first one, it has the birth records and the marriage publications, which are a little bit different than the regular marriage records. That's the announcements that a marriage will be taking place. And the second one is the publication the actual marriage records, the death records from 1866 to 1878, and then the death records from 1879 to 1910. So we're going to click on the ones that contain the death records from 1866. And if you go back to the indexes and you enter 2438 give it a minute or so so you'll see this is the death of Gaetano Trotta which matches the first record in the 1866 uh, index. 
in there's in the early uh, years they're handwritten, which makes it slightly difficult to read because you have to make out what they're what they're writing. Um, but everything is is indexed out to help make it easier. Um, you could double check our work by reading through the record to the best of your ability. And I'll I'll do another video on the keywords to look for and and where you can uh, find names and whatnot. Um, I think we will try to go to some records that are a little easier to to read. Maybe 1889. So we're going to go back and go to the death records of 1879 to 1910, and 373. Gustina Orgia is record number one which matches our index and once again these are somewhat easier because they're pre-printed forms as opposed to the earlier 1866 now a unique thing about that uh, if you go back even further uh, 1809 uh, 1850 which is another uh, website to view the records not the family search uh, they have pre-printed forms that are a little bit different, but they're pre-printed, which helps you locate your ancestor a little easier. So once again, uh, we've gone through these records and we've we've indexed them uh, for ease of your research, and it can also help you read the record um, if you locate the individual. Next thing I want to show you is the baptisms, which uh, if we go back to the in, um, the table and we select, let's see, I'm using 18, 1852 as an example. So you would go to the church or the parish records baptismals, go to the 1800s, click on that link, and uh, these records uh, were filmed by a gentleman in Italy um, that uh, Peter had hired and Peter had shared the documents originally with Pasquale and myself to help the index project and then he donated them to italianparishrecords.org and if you go there which is italianparishrecords.org and you'll search for uh, the region and the town it will bring you to to this page and we're gonna go to where 1852 would be and again uh, in the right side you'll see the image number and we're gonna look for image 78 And we are looking for uh, Vincenza Dionza. Okay, so that record is down in the lower right hand corner. If we blow it up a little bit. Again, it, it may take getting used to a little bit. Um, some records are a little easier to read than, than others. But again, this is the actual document, the actual, actual church record from 1852 that the entry was made. And it, it 
once again it's always good to double check work you want to verify that what we've entered in the in the indexes is in fact accurate mistakes are always made and you can uh, contact us at the email addresses that are on the individual sheets if you see an error or you have a question about um, any of the data that's entered in here and once again I'll be doing videos in the future of the best ways to search because the spellings of names change over time uh, whoever's entering the data whether it's in the civil records or the church records may change so you'll have to know some tricks of what it, what to look for what to search for to come up with uh, the information that you're looking for so once again uh, if you if you go directly to my www.sasanochicago.org and you go to the resources tab you could get to the Sasano project you can get to the church images for San Giovanni Evangelista um, if you're from Chicago or your ancestors settled in Chicago uh, there's quite a bit of additional information on on my website but uh, it, it w a complete wealth of information I'm, I'm extremely happy that uh, I met Peter and, and we were able to collaborate on this project. We talk on an irregular basis um, just to catch up and talk about all the wonderful cousins that we've met over the years that we continue to meet. And if you're not from Sassano and you uh, have Italian heritage or actually any heritage, uh, I encourage you to do something similar like this. Get uh, other people that are doing research and if the records are online whether they're the records that uh, family search has done or any other type of records um, it, it's always good to collaborate with other people Google Docs is free to enter the data and have it available to the public uh, for others to benefit from your work um, so just a couple of suggestions there to, to keep the genealogy idea going and, and trace our, our family back as far as we can. I hope to get videos up once a week, once every other week, to help you in your research. I'd like to thank you for listening, and I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.